Hi guys, um, just an introduction, uh, an overview of the webinar that we're giving next week. I wanted to put this into a, a um, verbal thing so people can understand fully what, what to expect from it. Um, what the webinar is, is it's an overview on what the uh, observational tasks are. It's an overview of what Pearson's and Excel are requiring and an overview of how it works and what's expected, um, pardon me, and what needs to be done. Um, what we're unable to cover uh, is an individual uh, clinic. If anybody's coming in with individual problems, I'm afraid we can't help there. Um, that's because A, there isn't the time, and B, if you're not actually signed up to us, it's not fair on them to offer that level of support. And I'm afraid I couldn't do it. It wouldn't be fair on them, and I'm sure you'd understand that. But it, at the end of the day, what I hope you do walk away from is more knowledge and understanding on how to get the tasks started, which I'm hoping uh, you will glean from that. There's also been talk about the <clears throat> the aided observations that I'm offering. I need to be crystal clear on this, and I've asked Nigel Marshall to make sure it is ethical to do it, and it is. Um, everybody knows about the Liverpool John Morse Telescope, where they can send in their requests to them about what they need and what they want, and they kindly take the observations and send them back. Um, I'm offering the same kind of thing, um, except I've got a robotic telescope which can be put outside. Um, it can be connected into. It's the Sea Stars S50. I mean, there's, there's no secret about that. You could all go out and buy one if you want, but they're a bit expensive. Um, that, that, that's why the OS Academy's bought this one. This is part of the OS Academy's observatory. And I've been playing with it quite often. I've taken a number of pictures of the moon with it quite easily and of the sun. <clears throat> and and I think it's something which can easily be used for you guys. So the idea is, is that um, you can zoom in via Zoom as you would do on a normal webinar. Only this time I'll give you control of my desktop. And what happens is you then come in, you then go to the window where, where the app is. And you then control the telescope so you can see um, exactly what's going on. You know, so you can get it to slew to where you need it to slew to. I'd like to have it where you can see what's going on, but that might be a bridge too far um, in, in terms of that. But I mean, I'll, I'll be able to you know, validate any observations to say you control the telescope to go there. And through that way, you better observe the moon and take pictures, the sun. And the uh, and any deep skies, and that will help you with three of the aided obs observational tasks. There, you'll be able to take um, a, a number of pictures of the moon over a, a number of nights, <clears throat> and select your features to write about how you know the changes, of the phase, alters the appearance of these features. So it'll help you with that one, and also for those of you who are doing the sunspots one, <clears throat> of taking multiple pictures of the sun and um, you know seeing over a period of a couple of days how, how these features rotate and using that to help you work out how the sun is rotating now to clarify a it will be an observing session only i'm unable to tell you what to do i'm unable to offer any specific questions about your observational tasks my sole role here will be to let you control the telescope to take the pictures beyond that i can't help you that's between you and your tutor there, were, there wouldn't be enough time anyway because uh, there may well be other people waiting because that's the other problem. Once you've finished, I then have to reset the telescope, which will take a bit of time and then reconnect it back up for the next learner to come in and control it back. As I say, it seems fruitless if you're studying the same object, but that's Pearson's and Excel for you. They have to plan and take the images themselves for them to be valid. And I'm sorry, guys, but it's none of this business of all... You know, who's going to know? I will know, you will know, and possibly your parents will know, and that's our reputation gone. And I'm not willing to risk the hard work we've put in, along with our tutors, in, in, in signing off authentic tasks. It's about helping you, but we can't cut any corners. So that is the idea behind it. Now, that service I'm, I'm looking to make available for no extra charge for our existing GCSE students but I'm afraid if anyone else outside of that wants to access that service, that will be chargeable um, because obviously it takes time, effort to, to set that up. And I'm happy to do it for those who've invested in us and, and are with us. 
But for those who aren't, I'm afraid I'm going to have to add that on. And no, it won't be part of the £45 that you're paying for your observational task sign-off. Um, <clears throat> it'd have to be an extra. If you do consider that that's costing too much, I suggest you sign up to the entire programme. I mean, we're about the cheapest online, and I think we offer far more than most other providers do, to be fair, for what we charge. So, you know, if, if you'd like all that, just simply sign up. You, you are committed, you know, to, to your minimum period, um, but, you, but you'll get all that help as well. So I just wanted to clarify, you know, what the webinars are and also uh, speak a bit more about the, um, about the assisted observations. Also, the assisted observations, I think I'm going limit to limit it to about three to five sessions per task, which is all you need. I think three pictures of the moon you can get away with, and I think about three, four pictures of the sun over a number of days you can get away with. Uh, the other thing, of course, as well with that package is flexibility. You've got to be available. And you give me your email to say that you're available, you have to say you're interested. I will then let you know when I'm online. Uh, which can be quite often and i might even be out there taking shots of the sun myself anyway or the moon in which case you can come in quickly and within say five ten minutes you could have your observations and <clears throat> i can get them emailed to you and 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 you can have them and then that way that they'll be done and if you're under nigel marshall i will let him know that you have taken the observations through the os observatory and you've taken them yourself and that way i've authenticated them and uh, he will know or if i've got to sign something for, for any examiner uh, in the exam center i'm happy to do that as well so yeah all right so hopefully that will be of use to you and i look forward to seeing you thursday see you then cheers